you have a mentor when you start racing? My father and Mr. Skuma. Mr. Skuma. Which I rate as the best fitting fan service country he's ever seen. In your, in your career now, Mr. Power, um, since you've raised pigeons for so long, um, your achievements, um, can you, what's the biggest achievement that you can say this is a highlight of, of your career? Well, when I was young, that I raced uh, the pigeon called Twilight with my dad. That was the biggest achievement. Then uh, the pigeon... Uh, what? Uh, gold medal winner short there that myself and Jan raised. Golden Princess. Yes, Golden Princess. She was a highlight of my career too. And uh, I'm a uh, five-time winner. My one pigeon, I call him the five-time winner. He also was a great pigeon. But they're different good birds. But my highlight of my career was to win the f uh, Fed averages and second in the Union averages twice in one season, competing in two stronger organisations. Yeah. In one season? Uh, well, in one season being first in the one and second in the other, and then when I flew, flew that was with Jan Schmidt, and when I flew with Paul Pedro, I was first, we were first in the Fed average, uh, First in the Fed averages, second in the Union averages. And my, on my own, when I was a lot younger, I think I'd won the Union averages four times in about five or six years. And then we were nearly 600 fanciers. And then that Fed yeah. and Union? Yeah. It was, no, then it was 600, just the Union. Just the Union? Yeah. It was right up to springs and all, you know, yeah. because Union was very big in those days. I see. And um, the, the amount of um, money you'd get from your winnings, or uh, how, how did it go? How, how the money part of it, it was always very... Dressy. Yeah, it was... You couldn't take it home and say, buy furniture or something. <laughs> No. So it no. would be your... It was more, it was the drive of the sport that you flew for, not for money. And, and getting to that point, Mr. Bauer, I know uh, most fancies don't race for any... Not, they race for achievement, but it's more within the person. In than, the, yeah. Than want you, want the world to win. Yeah. The world to win. So was it, has it always been like that with you? Always been like it. Wanting to win and enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. So the outcome is you enjoying it and you being happy yes. than getting any rewards. Correct. It was the pigeon gave you the reward when it won. That's great. And um, now that uh, we, we are entering another era since we into this pandemic, the COVID-19, um, how do you think it impacted the sport? Well, last year with the short racing and all of that, it, it, the people were lucky enough still to race last year. And hopefully they're going to race this year again. And we'll have to see, eh? But I think the fancy has still carried on. You know, they still exercised their pigeons, took them on the road, all of that. But it all depends how this one, one cover they say is going to be a, another breakout, so we'll see. And in terms of um, the, the races, since COVID has impacted it in a few ways, do you think, should we put any um, things in place for the sport to be better in, in club racing level? I just, all I say is the pigeons should be, everybody should have their own organization, but there should be one liberation. Because when you, the more pigeons you let go, the more fairer it becomes. The wind becomes a less, wind will always play a part in pigeon racing, but the less pigeons you got, the more the wind will dominate. That's, 
The bigger the liberation, the more the spread of the pigeons. And talking about liberation and the spread, it takes me to my other question about training. Now, how, 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 how do you train your birds? Do you have any secret uh, methods knowing that if you train like this? I used to toss my birds. The only time my pigeons never got tossed was on a Sunday it was their day of rest. So and you would toss daily? Daily. And in my early days, I used to toss twice a day. In the morning, and my wife used to toss them in the afternoon. But then I found that in all my trips to Belgium, I found that you can over toss a pigeon and overwork a pigeon too. Mm. So I did, got a lot cleverer towards, you know, the end. My trips to Belgium taught me a lot about pigeons. Yeah. Taught me about good pigeons, and it taught me about pigeons and also rest. I see. So we can say most of your other knowledge you got it from Belgium. Yeah, I used to go every year. Just for the learning about birds or and buying pigeons. And um, in terms of you going to Belgium, what 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 other experience did you get from, from Belgium? I learned a lot about. I learned about the widowed system, which. I used it towards the last few the years of my racing career and was very successful with it, which very few people in this country do. And uh, I learned on medication a bit and feeding, feeding the most important thing. That power plays one of the most important things in pigeon racing. Pigeons only need medicine when they're sick, that's all. Yes, that, that you're taking me to my other question, medication. Um, how, how did you medicate your birds? Um, yeah, I, made, I used to treat for canker periodically, um, breathing, all different, you know, I was lucky to be able to keep my pigeons healthy. Yeah. And being, you know, being distributing medication and that. And my son helped me a lot sometimes, when he, but not in the early days because he wasn't. When he was became a vet, I used to te we used to test our birds a lot by. Okay, so no regular checkup. Of Checkups. The take the droppings, read the droppings, take swabs in the throat, mm -hmm. and all of that. But we didn't. All, you know, you would if you see your birds, you would in doubt that they're going off a bit. Then we would, myself and Johan would take birds to him. Uh, your hand used to take them hours at work always. And uh, okay, and then for an upcoming person who wants to start racing, what would be your advice to towards people who wish to join the sport? My advice to them is don't rush out there and collect pigeons from everybody. Because it doesn't work like that. Try befriend, as I say, a good fancier, and if he wants to help you, listen to him and get a pair of pigeons, John, a pair of pigeons, people that you can trust, that you're going to learn to trust and pull them up. It's not easy to, you know, to do that. Let's see. And as Mr. Bauer, are you open for any fancier to come learn from you? or Anybody can come up on open cards. And besides uh, raising pigeons, you've mentioned that you distribute medication, yeah. food. food. Um, you also on that. Um, you also distribute that. Can you yes. tell us more about it? Yeah, well, it's the Ron Free products that I, uh, I, I'm an agent for, the Shavita, and the Van Robes food. That I'm, yeah, and I'm negotiating more agencies now at the moment. And, and where, where, where does one find you if they need to order food, uh, a bit of medication? They you must just look up and phone me and on 082-949-2151. A lot of people do it already, plenty. Fancy. My old, yes, from the whole country. They phone all the time. All right, do you have any closing remarks? My closing remarks is for anybody coming new into the sport is to, as I said in the beginning, don't go out there and get pigeons from everybody. Select a man, trust in him, and build up a fancy and try and build up a, 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 a 
stock cloth of pigeons and you're going to make mistakes you're going to also make and be selective selective don't take nonsense and don't keep a lot of pigeons now, as you've heard from uh, mr powell um, his advice um, if you are a fencer you want to start racing there you have it from the man himself many years into pigeon racing and thanks a lot, Mr. Bar, for your advice. I, I hope that um, young stars out there will, will take your advice. Um, thanks, for, thanks for watching. Um, do subscribe to our channel, Pigeon Taylor News, on YouTube. Like and share. Thank you.